Hi everyone, and welcome to part 14 of the YouTube series. Uh, we're live again on Twitch, so I'm gonna, gonna keep going. Trying to remember what was going on last time. This is the fourth stream. I usually tend to summarise things at the end of the stream, so <laughs> if you've just come off of part 13, then you probably remember better what's going on than I do. Ah, uh, now I think Infinite Storage was the, uh, what's the name of the game? For now. And yeah, so I need to bring these along. Just wondering what the easiest way to do that is. Let's just do this. Ooh. Um, and I need to get these lines over. Oh, this is horrible. Need to get these lines over to set up the Escher waterfall. So explaining my ever popular tutorial by on infinite storage you need two gases in there um, we need carbon dioxide and not oxygen but, but uh, it might be easier to not do this in the corner of the map but we've, uh, we've chosen to do that so we're going to do it and normally I'd make this a bit easier but you know this playthrough is not going to be easy uh, so which lines are which? So the bottom lines the oxygen lines. So I have to swap these over again. Which is probably me being a bit silly. Um, I'll bring that across. This is the carbon dioxide line. It needs to go to here. And the oxygen line needs to go to here. Uh, let me just pop two bridges in. Alright. Uh, to demonstrate this on my... Um, on my guide. And then we'll just get this all built. Now access wise these doors open, right, yeah, so they can get in and out for now, which is excellent. Um so the liquid is fine. The, the gas is yeah. And then Okay. Yeah, the so the power I've just left as an open thing, because we won't Yeah, we're not gonna need to get the um get the petroleum out actually so that's petroleum infinite storage we won't need to get that out anytime really soon i think we were, we were pushing on with the steel so i got this going on fossil and, and there is a lot of fossil right this is uh which one was fossil remember yeah fossil <laughs> wow fossil's the orange stuff and uh there is a lot of fossil so i think the limiting factor well it's definitely not going to be lime for a good while. It might well be iron, but then just check for the metal overlay for the iron. There, yeah, I think there wasn't that much iron. Well, there's quite a bit here. So, we need to get some strip mining going. Um, but we'll we'll sort this bit out first, because... Uh, this is going to stabilise our food, and then we can just up the population, and then we can strip mine like mad. And uh, strip mining is upcoming in my tutorial bite series. So probably not by the time that this VOD is live on YouTube, but within a couple of days after this being posted, for sure, I'll have the um, I'll have that done. In fact, I may well I may well be the same day. So as of as of time of recording, it could it could well be tomorrow that I have that up. I definitely have the oxygen one up by tomorrow as well. So. If you're um, if you're watching and you, I don't know if you've caught the, the self-powered oxygen machine bits, but I'm going to explain that in a tutorial bite, nice and succinctly, uh, how to do that in a full guide. So if that's if that's new to you, then um, by all means check that out. That will be live on on the YouTube too. Uh, and any other tutorial bites, lots more content to come, which is good. Um, but for now, we're just building. Just lots and lots of building, I think. And we're building quite a long way away from our base, which is... Uh, well, not problematic, but slightly annoying. I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely wondering if we should just transit tube this. Or if that's going to take more time to set up the transit tube than it will to the, save us time. Um, because, I mean, we've got loads of plastic. Uh, in the last episode, I finished the petroleum boiler. This is this is ready to go, um, but I've got nowhere to store the petroleum or burn it. So 
That's why I've, um, I've not turned it on, really. But it's ready to go. There's nothing else stopping it. It in itself is built, so... Um, I think we probably should take on some more... Some more dupes. I'm just thinking about the food food situation. But we've got... Uh, we've got 540 tons of dirt, which is a whole lot of dirt. So we could we could quite easily up the up that uh, right. Did I forget about? Okay, yeah, kind of forgot about it. Bring her back. So so yeah, forgot Catalina was up here, but she's just out to research. So sent her five tiles away. We found Caldelin. Cold, and bring her back. Um, I just hope she's got enough food. Uh, that's two cycles. She's easily got enough food. Excellent. Uh, so that's good. And we'll, we need to find the outer planetoids to get the late game stuff going. Uh, hold on, just to double check research. So research wise, we were pretty close on that. Um, the materials research is what's holding us up. So we'll keep going with that. Uh, yeah, just a lot more building. So the building's really going on up here. And the uh, Himawari Pro's on it. One of my uh, that streamer that I follow has also popped in the stream. So anyone that's popping in the stream, I'm uh, I will happily name a group after them. Not necessarily subscribers or followers or anything. Just anyone that says hello and wants to be in, I'll uh, pop them in. So that's bit that's building. We really just need more more jeeps here, don't we? That better not be three and a half cycles. Uh, we've still got 1,000 kilocalories, she's not going to complain that. Okay, she's got three and a half days worth of food in her. She'll be fine. Try to uh, murder our dupes in space, that would be useful. Yeah, see Bubbles is on the digging. That's good, because we needed the copper ore. I used up so much copper ore. Uh, Vicky, I think I was on these mesh tiles. But I'll need the mesh tiles for the gas flow because this is going to be a joint steam and carbon dioxide room. Um, just conscious actually that I don't have anywhere for the for the output to flow, so I'm worried this might flood. Probably needs another another floor really. We can um, we can fix that in a bit. But unfortunately, just a lot of building still to go. Kathleen's coming in. But I think the power's stable with the, the solar panels. We should be all right. And the spawn. Interestingly, actually, the, so the spawn numbers, um, by my calculations, if you, as long as you're consuming all the oxygen, which uh, obviously we're not here, but if you were, you can get just over 400, well, 450 watts out of this, this setup. I mean, it's pretty good, actually. I mean, that's a, a hamster wheel going. Continuously, and um, obviously we've got the solar panels helping out. So we'll, um, yeah, we can always build more of those if we wanted to. It's not too difficult to balls. Uh, I'm thinking I'm on the hunt for dupes, so if I get some good ones, I'll take them. But um, athletic strength, quilling. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Morale bonus in space, yeah. Mm -hmm. The interests are good, but the traits aren't. Some bit torn. I mean, athletics is good, strength is good. I don't think they they, they warrant it though. Uh, we'll just take the, the food. I think got lots of pips. Okay, so volcano erupted soon. Oh, almost building this up. Ah, uh, no, we've got a bit of an unreachable here. Because I... So I could ladder across, or I could just... Uh, just change the routing. Because that's now all reachable from inside. Uh, so we'll change... We'll change that. Uh, that five. Cool. 
uh, and Kathleen's come back in. I think once she's back in, we'll try and send her back out because that's really the key uh, key thing to do. We've got to keep the uh, space exploration going. Still quite a bit to do on the research side. Oh, we've got the coal gens too. They're pretty empty. That's fine. Um, yeah, I did dig up some coal. There's some deposits down here. I think I've mined out. Uh, yeah, really, we need to do we need to do all the strip mining. And I need more jeeps. So um, I sized this for fourteen. One, two. So if I do that. So my my food production's also also matching. Um, one, so I'm just doing them with five because it's five per dupe. That gives me. I've just added three more dupes, so that means I could add another uh, suit on there quite happily. Yeah, we'll just we'll up the number of dupes. I think if we get some good ones, I'm gonna be a little bit picky. I suppose later on I probably won't have that uh, um, that what do I say that what opportunity luxury I won't have the luxury to choose later on I think just got to get as many in as we can you only get one every three cycles so if we want to get 400 so that's uh, 1200 cycles there just of waiting and that's uh, assuming we take every single one so I'm conscious that I need to start taking tubes on at some point because uh, the space is going to go really long if we're going to go go that high, but I, that, I'm, to be honest, that might just be uh, might just be required. So we'll uh, we'll do what we need to do. Yeah, I think he's getting this floor built as well. Because once that that's built, then they can uh, do the construction supply to the rest of it. Nice. So once we get that done, the petroleum line is ready to go. So I can actually, I can fill this area. That's fine. And that needs to be a tile as well. So we'll just build this up really the main thing that's going on so we've got the okay Kathleen's back very soon um did we make some more mush bars no so we've been using the mush bars as uh, space food um which isn't really ideal because the uh, the meal the meal lice turned into the uh, pickled pickled meal lice that was cool it's on the grill isn't it so the uh, meal the pickled meal is uh, is one of the long longest lasting things in the game obviously we don't have uh, we don't have any berry sludge at this point and so, uh, yeah this uh, rocket exhaust gets pretty toasty well, I think we're all right for now because the ladders pulling the cold out but I have melted ladders I've melted pipes Particularly with hydrogen rockets. Hydrogen rockets are really hot. The petroleum ones aren't too bad, but they're still pretty hot. And you, by the time you do uh, quite a few launches, then uh, you do have a melting risk. So I've used, I've just used igneous rock here for now and sandstone. If I was going to do a long-term rocket setup, which I will do, I'll use obsidian because that's the only thing you can build out of that won't won't melt. I covered that in my. Uh, Store a bite while I'm eating melting. So. Good stuff. Right, so she's Catalina's back in. So hopefully we should be storing mush bars, I think. And then um, So we need to go out 
I mean, there's quite a lot of things over here, but um, actually, I wonder if uh, see if three things together is more likely to be a point of interest rather than anything else. Because if you if there's a planetoid, then you can't have anything next to it, so it's, it might actually be the wrong way to go. But we'll, we'll go in every direction, obviously. So it's sensible. Okay. Might just be some farming supply going on. Just quickly double check on the skills. Um, I don't think there was anything burning that we needed to to grab. I've already got two researchers. Um, go give Wolf the carrying staff, which are the best skill. I've already got decorating. I'd like to take rocket piloting there, but that's a bit too much, I think. Um, yep. So I think once the food's good, we'll send Catalina straight back out. And Himawari Bros on the, on the build. And we're almost done with this, so once the... Once we can finish the end, we can start filling the, the infinite storage. Carbon dioxide going everywhere. That's half a ton there. It's oh. quite a lot. I suppose that all came in off the rocket and then just froze because this is so cold. I think that'll last long. We'll uh, we'll heat all this up, I'm sure, with repeated rocket launches. I mean the the liquid carbon dioxide is kind of fun, but it doesn't <laughs> doesn't really have any use. All the uh, the use is really slicksters for for making more petroleum and some food, so having it as a liquid form isn't particularly useful. Right, uh, and then I can connect this up. Once that's done... Ah. Oh yeah, I was just questioning my logic as to why I was going over the top. Um, I think... Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to try and make this one shorter, but that's not going to happen. So we'll get those built, and then, but then this is attached, so... The petroleum should be able to come up from here, shouldn't it? Or we, we just don't have any. So if I turn this back on, we can recommission the boiler and just double check it's safe, but there's no reason why the boiler shouldn't work. Always helps to watch this kind of thing. These boilers can be fiddly. Still got our vacuum in. Yeah, seeing a little bit of little bit of damage. Make sure it's repaired. Yeah, this will start increasing down here quite quickly, so it'll build up mass in here, and then once that gets critical, get down here, and we should just always be monitoring the input temps. Once we've got a proper flow going, they should be increasing, but we don't want to go too high, so the balance with these petroleum boilers is always getting the, the oil output temp close to 400, but not too close. This aluminium seems pretty stable, and the long the run is quite long. I'm, I'm surprised the run's that long. Then the oil, the yeah, oil temps 80 degrees, which is pretty normal for uh, for that. Hello, Starless. How are you doing? And and Kem, you all right? Two people at once. Come back for some some Oni content. So uh, we're not we're playing. Uh, there's Divinity or uh, Mass Effect. Doing, yes, yeah. Well, I mean, I say doing, Kim. Okay, I've I've done it. So uh, this is the one I always use. Uh, I'm just double checking the tuning on it. We're getting quite close to 400, which is looking good. But uh, uh, fuck bubbles. I mean, no, bubbles is alive. 
In fact, in fact, right, so I've been renaming dupes after after people in the chat, so you you are getting bubbles in the in the greatest of irony. You can be bubbles. Now there's no bubbles. <laughs> there's no bubbles now, problem solved. That's what you wanted. You have become what you saw to destroy. One, two, three, four, five. That's minimum spacing. Let's go on down here. Right, so I need more dupes. I need more dupes. I hate this light thing. Heart. Tell you what. We're gonna take. We're gonna take a. Take a. Do I have enough beds? I don't have enough beds. Ah. Didn't think this through. Don't have enough beds. I can't remember what I spaced for. Uh, so I've got 13. The ammo suits are fine. One, five, nine. That's only 12 as well. Mm, okay, I've got some problems here. <laughs> Em, you're not so far. I don't. I don't think you've popped into any of these streams. But I can add you in if you have any. If you have any dupes that you want to be that aren't already named, I'd definitely add you in. Sorry, Starless. This is how it has to be. Um, what's broken? What's oh, it's breaking? Ah, so I'm down a dining. I'm down some dining space for this. How do I get more dining space? This is the question. Me, of course. Do I, I don't. Uh, I don't have a meep, do I? I uh, no, I don't have a meep, unfortunately. I've got Abren, Max, Ellie, Lindsay, Nisbet, and Lyra, Catalina left. Got a bit of a choice. No, <laughs> it's now tainted. Uh, well, that's just how it is, I'm afraid. It's, it's my ship. That's how I'm running it. Right, um, what have we did? You haven't seen the, uh, you haven't seen the spaced out DLC, I don't think, too much, so that's happy. So we're going to send Catalina off. I'll give you Lyra. Yeah, Lyra's my favourite, Kim. So that's a top choice. I'll give you that one. Yeah. You are... You are the master of taint. I don't, I don't have tainty sprinkles to spread around. Hmm. Oh. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, this is fine. It just looks really weird, this. So there's 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 petroleum on here, but it's so thin that it's just, the, the animation on these tiles is super weird. I'm hoping this works out all right. So yeah, the petroleum boiler's up and up and going. So input temps, really stable actually. 399 is excellent and it's stable. Ah, uh, Kamado. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I haven't seen you streaming for a little bit. <laughs> Come see my petroleum boiler. We're doing good. We're doing good. I got this set up and working, and everything's everything's great. Look at that. It's it's uh, it's flawless actually. This seems really stable. This one. Got the input temp perfect. It's, uh, so it's taking heat out of this igneous rock really slow. In fact, I might even be able to play with the tuning on this to get a little bit more heat out of that rock. So we'll play with that. But yeah, nice little count flow. Magma blade coming in here. You need more time to relax and stream. That was a hard week. Yeah. Does it work or other stuff? I'll definitely pop in. Um, but yeah, that's set up. So I've just been working on the storage for it, really. This is the critical bit. So I've made an Escher waterfall up here as well. Um, I'm just trying to fill it. So I need to get the storage area filled up to at least here. Although actually I think I can do it already. Uh, hold on. So... Mm. But I need these gas pipes. I need them. I need them quick. Um, oh, well, I'll just cut the feed line. The nice petroleum boy, what about the sixes? Yeah, so the slickster area is going to be here. So this is the start of my, um, my industrial brick. Uh, I've made ten ranches here because that's what the 
what the boiler should support, although I haven't left any space for their um, their output, so this, this is going to need more work. But ultimately, this is going to go down the size of the map, so I'm expecting this industrial brick to kind of go this big in total. So there's going to be a lot of slicks to ranches we're going to need. But this is the one to start. Unfortunately, this is on um, slightly lower priority than trying to get this built. Because then I can just start banking petroleum and water wise, I'm good because I'm using this, although this is pumping quite quickly now. So I might have to be a little careful on water. Is this still filling the. No. Okay. You're going to destroy my PC. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see what breaks first, either my will or the game, or. Uh, <laughs> uh, I might just go a bit crazy trying to build this much stuff. We'll, f we'll find out. Okay, so this is filling up nicely, but we still need this gas in. I think I can actually set the waterfall going um, already. But we'll we'll just keep filling it in here. I've gone ambitious. I've put five pumps in just to be safe, and they're all made out of steel. Steel production's good. Um, oh, I should have given should have given Abe a skill, shouldn't I? Just give them carrying, because carrying's good. Right, Catalina's found something else. Okay, so we're in orbit here. I'm thinking if we just go... So I can go five tiles out, so we'll do that. So we found... Ugera? Uh, that's the... That's the marsh planetoid, which has got the... The resin tree on. I'm fairly sure that's the one. Yeah, yeah it must be that one. So we'll, I don't think I need I don't need resin, but I'll probably grab some anyway because I one I love visco gel because it's just awesome and it's really useful. The insulation is kind of nice, but um, it's going to be a while before. Well, I mean, I don't think anyone ever needs insulation except for maybe um, liquid hydrogen. But I mean, even then, you can get away with some ceramic and looping it. So. Um, insulation material is to be honest a bit of a just something you can do rather than necessarily something you should do so we'll keep Catalina going um, but at least this is kind of ruling out areas for other planetoids because they, they don't really cluster themselves so they're, they're roughly split in six directions unfortunately I'm, I'm hoping to find the magma planetoid that's the, the key bomb because I need the niobium I need the thermium that's really going to get us set up Right now, interestingly, this is this is no longer coming through. There's not a liquid in that tile, so I'm gonna kill the kill the boiler input before we have any problems. And we need to get this gas in. Unfortunately, they're working on it. Oops, I forgot to put in some bridges. So bridge there, bridge there, uh, and then once those are in, the waterfall will work. You never made insulation or taken resin. On the base game, it's not too difficult. Um, you know, you can get iso resin about as difficult as you can get niobium and uh, fullerene in the base game because you you only have to find it on the, the nearby space locations and then send send the rockets with the cargo capsules. In spaced out, the resin is actually probably significantly more difficult just because you need to feed the tree quite a lot of food to actually get any appreciable amount of resin. Um, I'm just a bit worried this is going to overflow. If it overflows it'll just uh, be destroyed. Oh, that's a bit inefficient. But we stopped the input so the last bits of petroleum should just flow down. I don't know how I managed to get to 170 but anyway. Um, yeah, I'll probably make some insulation because I'll have I'll have so much time and so much, so many dupes, I'll probably, I might even get bored, I don't know. I've, I've got a lot of infrastructure, infrastructure to build, but I'm going to have so many dupes standing around that I'll probably just feel pushed to, to make loads and loads of stuff anyway, just because I've got 200 dupes idling around. <laughs> you play just one week of the base game and the DLC came out, you start a new map every patch. Yeah, yeah I think, oh well, that's kind of how it goes, particularly when you're learning the game, it, there's... I definitely did the same, where you just kind of, uh, um, you play a base and then you get bored and then you go back again, but there, 
the late game stuff's really fun. It's my favourite bit now. And I think it's kind of different and unique for each map. The the earlier mid game I actually find quite similar, even though obviously you can vary the starting types and the planetoids, etc. So there there are quite a lot of you know unique starts and things, but I still find fundamentally the core gameplay mechanics quite similar. But late game you can just go nuts, uh, and I do and I will. So uh, yeah, so this is the the resin trees in here. So. This is the, the marshy planetoid. A lot of gold, which might be useful. So we'll, we'll have a look. So next steps for the base. Um, so we're still working on steel. Steel's just kind of slowly ticking along. Uh, I'm going to finish the storage for the petroleum. There's still quite a lot coming out. Yeah, it's now venting to space. But uh, anyway, why is it still going? Okay. Uh, finish, the, finish the storage, which we're pretty much almost there. The... Uh, industrial brick will get set up here and the slickster ranches. Once we've got that going, we'll have loads of food, loads of power. Um, so that's going to solve that problem. So we can take on lots more dupes. Next steps beyond that is strip mining. So I'm just going to rip up most of the map. Uh, and then we'll capture all of the oil reservoirs uh, and get those caught up. And then I can start putting in the infrastructure for the sour gas boilers. We need to keep on with the rocketry, so keep exploring out here. I think, yeah, Catalina's on it. So explore, we definitely need thermium, so finding the superconductive planetoid is key. Cool, okay, so the gas is coming here, which is good. So now uh, we can deconstruct these uh, and then this should all flow through uh, yeah let's find the superconductive asteroid because we need the thermium then we can start setting up sour gas boilers it's really just going to be a lot of digging and building I think for uh, for a while all right um, you see I think Abe still doesn't have anywhere to eat oh Harold's quite good I need more dupes I think so we'll do that. There's five there. There's five there. A bit unfortunate. They don't, they don't have anywhere to eat. We've got 14 of those. 14 of those. Yeah. So we'll be fine. We'll stick at 14. Yeah. So uh, there's there's lots to do. There's lots and lots to do. Right? Just joking. All right. So here we go. Oh, crap. So I need to actually delete the gas pipe. Did that work? That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Ah. That should have worked. I've never actually set one of these up in a real game. I've done it in the uh, in sandbox and it was nice and easy. But I didn't do anything more than just deconstruct that stuff, so I don't know why that's uh, that's not working so well. Figure it out. Keep an eye. Out. Right, so we found the temporal tear as well. Not that that's actually that useful, because I'm not planning on going there. Catalina should just be finishing off that. Oh, the yellow alert's annoying me. So once we're done there... So there could be another planetoid there. We definitely need to go out this way. So we'll just kind of go out in all directions, I think, from the start. But, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be a lot of waiting around. This is a thing with these big builds. Ooh. So it should give Harold. Yeah, I just just love carrying. Give everyone carrying. Uh, schedules. Let's just double check. So I want. Um. So we've got four on that. So we should just make a plus eight. Just make sure they're offset. I just copy the the basic schedule. 
three, go. Uh, and then we'll pop. Kem, you can go on that. Just sort skittling out. Okay, Catalina's done, so we'll bring her back. That's going well. I mean, we've already found two planetoids, so that's useful. We could set something up from from our second planetoid, which, to be honest, I've just completely left to it. We'll need... If we're going to set up here, the key thing's going to be getting the fuel through, so we can use the, the teleporter outputs. Oh, I should send through I should send through a scientist at some point to activate those. And then we can just teleport in the fuel. Although, we, I don't think we found the... Oh yeah, so we found the two teleporters there here. So the input loader's here. So we'll just we could run a petroleum line into that to refuel the rocket. But also, no, also we can make this a we can just add another fuel tank and it'll um we'll cover 20 tiles. So that's definitely an easy way to do it. We'll start out doing this because it's quicker. Um do it in five at a time. Right. So gas pipes. Uh, cancel that on that. So let's see. So this should just add um, a tile of uh, carbon oxide here. I think. If not, I'll just open this door and drain it all, but that's going to be a hell of a waste of uh, petroleum. Well, we live and learn. So I think in the meantime, they're starting to yeah, they're starting to build the the industrial brick. We'll get that online. Ah, so they've, they've put the gas in, but it's flow, but it's floated up. Of course, it's floated up. Why did I not think of that? Oh dear. If I so if I deconstruct this now, is that gonna? What's that gonna do? Is it just gonna do nothing? I might have done this the wrong way up, up and just forgotten that gases are uh, <laughs> lighter than liquids, which would be, that would be a bit silly, wouldn't it? In fact, in fact, don't even, yeah, don't even bother with that. Let's just let this out by killing that and we'll, yeah, we'll do attempt number two. Attempt number two, no, three. Get in there, we're getting there. Um, Steel-wise, I don't know how much iron we've got. We just completely run out of iron. Let me just turn all the iron into steel. I don't think there's any benefit of keeping it as iron, so let's crack on with that. Uh, yeah, Catalina's coming back. Definitely check out over here. I think there could be one over here. He Definitely one of these two is a planetoid. Probably that one, I reckon. I reckon that one. Probably that one. Then there's two more to find. There must be one up here. I don't know where the last one is, so we'll We'll find out. There goes Starless Bubbles on the on the dig. So we get this built up, and then I've got to work out the infrastructure. I can loop this line back down. I think that might be the most prudent way to do it, and I can do it on the batteries rather than rather than run the input line straight into the the industrial brick. If we run it up to the storage and then back, it'll use a little bit more power. But honestly, that's not going to be an issue at all. When we uh, when we get the petroleum generators up and going, I mean the petroleum boiler just kind of fixes so many problems at once. It's it's astounding. Highly recommend if you can get it working. Um, and we'll we'll restart it again soon. I'm I'm pretty sure I know what to do now. <laughs> so yeah, I know we're close. Okay. We'll do that. It's a D. Hmm. You know that's interesting. So I don't know why. So the gas is escaping out here. But if I if I have a tile here, then they can't get in to deconstruct it, which is a bit of a problem. Do I have to do some kind of temporary thing? I may have to do a temporary thing where 
I cap that off. Let's try, let's try let's just try again and make sure I'm not going mad. His turn. His turn. He's hungry, so he's going to eat. Let's just try again, but what happened here was the gas ended up jumping the corner, which is a bit odd. If that's the case and I need this tile, then I'm going to have to come at it from... No, I can't even come at it from the right side. Oh, I can. So I need to come at... After... Yeah, yeah, okay, awesome. Okay, so it stayed that time, so I don't know what happened there. And then, if we delete this... Ah, don't worry, bro, come back. There we go, right, okay, infinite storage achieved, excellent. So, let's turn the... Uh, turn the input line back on. And that's probably going to overheat the pipes a little bit as it goes in. But I can also now add this to priority. And now, this will fill up, which is excellent. Just double check, sorry if it's checking the camera around a bit. Um, yeah, so it, it does seem to just overheat a little bit on the first run through. But the, these designs aren't really meant to stop start, so that's a bit of a, a bit of a bad idea. But I've also got a liquid lock on here and two tiles high, so that's all repairable. So yeah, we'll give that a little bit, and it should start pumping out pretty quickly. Then, yeah, we've got infinite storage, we'll change the routing for the pipes. So we'll run the line back down. Um, let's check Catalina. Don't forget about your space missions. Yep, this is looking good. Yeah, so I don't know what was going on with the... Um, I don't know what was going on with this gas escaping all over the place, but... Yeah, this should now just act as infinite storage. We've got steel pumps in here, so they shouldn't overheat. I do, the, the petroleum output temperature will be below 275. Pretty sure if it's not, that would uh, mean we've got serious problems. So we'll just stack infinite petroleum in here for a good while. Okay, that just dropped to the floor. Excellent. Is this going to drop down? Yeah, petroleum's got quite a long way to go, so even though the boiler's on, we are running it literally up the entire length of the map. <laughs> this should all just immediately just drip straight in. Lovely. We probably should just lock these, although there's no reason for dupes to come in here. That would be a bit of a disaster if they did, so. Just extra safety measure will lock it. Cool, and then I say, rather than sit there and watch that, we'll come back in a bit and see how that's going. Okay, so I think the industrial brick is the next build. Given, I think it's priority five, and they're on it, so that's that makes sense. Okay, I put I put that tile in to make it ninety six because these are six to ranches. I was going to put... No, uh, we're on buildings. Buildings. I was going to put power down the side with a heavy watt line. Okay, Kathleen's back, which is good. And we still got... We've got a load of mush bars. We've got none here. I'll tell you what, what I should do is put Mukru, Nutrient Bar, Swamp Shard. Excellent in there, which is good. Uh, what's the stale? That's still 50% to go, so I think I can just... Once we're refueled, we'll go straight back out. Ah, now the refueling. Yeah, so the refueling is now happening, which is good. Chem... <laughs> I don't know if Chem's still with us or not. Uh, so yeah, so we'll, we'll get the refueling going. Probably an oxalite. Got quite, still got four tons of oxalite. Printer boards. Um, I'd like more tubes, but I don't think I have the space right now. So maybe we think about um, a base expansion as well. I think that's going to be important. In fact, we could think about just moving it to the right place, but. The, um, 
Yeah, things aren't quite in the right place. Because I think the edge of the base... If, if I got it right, the edge of the new base should be here. Right down our line of stuff. So I'm just going to... So if I do that, and then there'd be nine there. A ladder pole. Then a wall. Is that right? Nine, eleven. No, so there. And then this room to here. Oh, is sixteen. Yeah, so that's correct. So the the new baseline will be down here. Which means moving a whole lot of infrastructure, which I will have to do. You're going to build the tubes for new and poor slow tubes. Um, yes, I will build. I will build the tubes. Although to be honest, I haven't. I haven't actually left room in my designs for the transit tube access points. So that might be a bit of an issue. Uh, I need to work out how to integrate that. Everything's very tight. This map is slightly smaller than I was hoping it would be. Only by 10 or so tiles, but that is enough to throw off my design, given how ambitious it is. Um, are we fueled on this? I think we're fueled, aren't we? Yeah. Right, off we go, Catalina. He's starving. Don't worry. So, yep. Yeah. So we'll send off, we'll go this way, because I think, I reckon that could be a planet. So, hopefully, that's the case. Just check our infinite storage is still nice and uh, yep. don't know yet. It's still 800 kilo. Well, the 800 is more than the limit, isn't it? It's 780. It pulls out petroleum. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's unreachable. That's unreachable. Why is that unreachable? I'll go. This is reachable. Okay, well if it's not reachable then that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't that's not be an issue. Anyway. Okay, Catalina's off. There she goes. Yeah, so I, I don't know where the transit tube access points are gonna go. It's gonna be the tricky bit. I might just have to build them inside. So where I've because the baseline's gonna be down here. There'll be areas I can't build in because of the oil reservoirs, so I think I'll use those gaps to put the transit tube accesses in. And then work it out. But we've got 14 now. Obviously Catalina's out. Research. Okay, research is done for that. So let's... Um, I need to send up... Who have we got? Not Catalina. Evidus. We'll send up Evidus. The plastic. We have run out of plastic here. There's still 1600 inside. So, um, okay, I'll tell you what else I can do is just get rid of this because this is all defunct. Um, why is this not pumping out? Oh dear. Oh dear. What's happened here? So we've got a whole lot of sour gas. This got too hot? This just flashed? Hmm. Okay, we've had a bit of a disaster in here. Let's uh, fix that. Uh. Oh dear. Uh, so what must have happened is the... Oh, this has got come through too. Uh, is that pumping out there? It's just bubbling all over the place. Cool, making a pretty mess. Um, something must have happened when the magma came through and it got too hot. But I wasn't watching, so I don't know what the issue is. Fortunately, this is a lot of sour gas. Um, I'm just wondering if it's easier rather than pumping it just to let it... Let it go. Should just deconstruct the liquid lock and unflood it. Ugh. I don't fancy pumping out 400 kilos per tile of gas, which is like loads of it all out. It's going to flood this area, but... The gas pump's overheating? Oh dear. 500 degrees. How did this happen? This shouldn't have been able to happen. 
This is the problem with these things. No, this is overheating. Oh, and there's oil in it. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, a bit of a disaster there. And I don't know why. That's the that's my main concern right now. I don't know why that's happened. So we'll just have to get it running again and work out why. How is this so hot? This should never have been allowed to get so hot. I mean, this is uh, almost in reload territory. You know, bad that's gone, but we're on stream. We'll play through it. Work it out. Okay, so we are venting it to the atmosphere, which is good. Problem is, I'm going to have to make some more in here by sacrificing some more oil. Hmm, well, that's a bit of a toss. One more insulation pipes. It, it's possible, but then either way, the, the thermosensor should have stopped this getting too hot. It should have opened at 400 degrees, so I don't understand how this has got to to 600 degrees. It just doesn't make any sense. How is the heat getting in there? I'm, I'm confused as to why there's a vacuum in here. There was carbon dioxide. Hmm. Something odd's gone on here. Something very odd's gone on. Oh well, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. No issue. Right. Just keen to get the space stuff done. And we'll still keep setting up the rest of it. I mean, we managed to get... We managed to get a little bit out of it, so... I can, uh, I can reroute this now. Oh, it needs... We'll just pull those back when we're done. Okay. It's made a lot of sour gas. <laughs> so dump some more oil in. It's going to flash, but I need the oil to take the heat out at this point. Oh, yeah, that was a new planetoid. Ah, oh, that's the water one. Ah, oh, come on. Getting all the ones I don't want. Is that no? Still, yeah. So it probably was an issue here. I think you might be right, but I still don't understand how. Um, I still don't understand how this happened. Get one cool down right. So that's below five hundred now. Hmm. If it is is on here. Got about 35 units, we'll bring it back. Okay. Um we literally run out of aluminium ore, which is great. Okay. Okay, we can probably kill this now. So we've cooled down this tile enough. The gas is 170 in there. It's still slowly spilling out. I can probably do a little bit of mining here just to suck this out. Hmm. Get out of thermium for this pump. Just gonna deconstruct it. I'll try and fix this mess. Ugh. I don't know what this is, I mean it's probably a point of interest. I'd be surprised if that's a planetoid there. And then we'll send Catalina right and up. And try and find the superconductive. Don't want to waste a load of steel. So yeah, just building this just makes a vacuum in there, I'll just suck this out a bit more. 
We need space for this gas. This gas has just taken over this whole side of the map. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, definitely need more strip mining going on, but I'm going to let them finish this first. And then we'll start strip mining in earnest. It's going to help. Aha, uh -huh, right, research done. So that was research on the drill cone, which is great. So at this point, I don't think I need anything else. All of this stuff I never really use. Don't need that. I will need the liquid cargo tank. And I will want the hydrogen engine, although I think I can get away without it. And I want the nuclear stuff, because we're going to need to make red bolts industrially. So let's just shoot for the nuclear stuff. Maybe the new magma drop, not on the power door. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. This seems to be working fine. Ah, okay, this is not fine. I see the problem now. So, so this is still transferring heat. Even though this door's open. Huh? Um... Game? <laughs> Please? Is that because there's a temp shift here? Uh... Okay. How is that happening? There's a vacuum in here. This shouldn't be happening. Yeah, and that's causing the gas, obviously. Okay, well, we're just making some more, which isn't good. Um, I've got liquid aluminium now. Okay, great. Oh, God. What was that? That was the ther the thermosensor's now melted. So you know you're doing well when you've melted a thermosensor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Um. How have we? How is this working? I don't understand. This is. This doesn't make any sense. This shouldn't be transferring. This shouldn't be transferring. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um. Can we get in and take that? Hmm, alright. Yeah, this is now an aluminium boiler. That's, uh, that's not intended. Oh, dear. This game always finds interesting ways to break. There's a vacuum in there. There shouldn't be any heat transfer, unless it's just the temp shift. I think it's the temp shift plate that's just pulling it out of that tile. Temp shift plate's too good. That's the problem. Um, and the oil can handle it. Anyway, this is cooling down, but it's just dumping it into the atmosphere. Yeah, I've melted. I've melted this as well. <laughs> Everything's melted. Alright, we'll rebuild that. What's What point does aluminium freeze? 600, isn't it? 660. Okay, well, if you've never seen melted aluminium, you have now. You said it was easy. Um, right. Yeah, it's going to take the wart seed. Wart seed's always good. Could be the temp shift. They, yeah, they cover the 3x3, three three, so it could just be pulling out of here and putting it into here, even within a vacuum, but that's... That's odd. Odd behaviour. So I've turned this off anyway, so this will never... Um, and dug that little bit that was transferring the heat. So we should be able to fix the problem, it's just... Uh, oh, bit of a pain. Alright, but we'll continue on, we'll continue on. I think in the meantime all this building was getting done, so... We'll fix that. I've never had that problem before though, and I've used this design... ...quite a few times. But this is why I hate the the volcano ones now. The... The... Aquatuna... Boilers are just so much more reliable. You don't get this, this issue, because you don't have... 1800 degree magma, you've just got a boiler that's... ...quite happily sitting at... ...500 degrees. So you can't really cause this problem. 
Um, so anyway, we'll uh, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll we'll let this drain out, and once it gets low enough, we can. Uh, okay, so at 50 kilos per tile. So I can probably just reinstate this. Stick the pump in on at 600 degrees. Um, I can also, yeah, I'll just use this to cool it down. Oh god, we've melted. No! 